Hello guys, welcome to JavaScript Intro Question Series. This is question number 22, where we want to delete either a single or a multiple property from the given object. We are going to solve this problem in four different ways. The first way I want to show you is using the delete keyword. So I can write the delete then the object name and the key I want to delete. So let's say I want to delete this IMDB key, okay? And now let me console log the movie object and save it. And expand the object, guys. Now you can see this object does not have the IMDB key. Next, let's say I want to delete one more key, which is this length. So let me replace it with the length, clear the console and save it again. Now in this object, guys, you can see both of the properties has been removed. But the problem with this approach is, let's say there are 50 different key value pairs in this object and you want to delete 20 keys from this object, then you have to repeat this step 20 times, right? So a better approach would be to write a function. So that is the second way I want to show you, writing a function. Recommend this, clear the console, and let's write a new function, call it remove props, short for properties, which is a arrow function. And this will take two parameters. One is the object you want to delete the key from, and the second is a array of the keys which you want to delete, okay? So what I mean is, let me uh, call this method, and this object would be uh, this movie object, and the array would be keys, keys. So one is IMDB, and the other one is length, okay? Now inside the arrow function, I'm going to write a for loop and uh, I'll iterate over this array of the keys which I want to delete. So I'll write let i is equal to zero, then i less than array dot length, and then i plus plus. Inside the for loop, I'll be using this delete syntax again. So I'll write delete here and then uh, here you can see we are passing the object first and then the key name. So here I can pass this object. And since now we are getting the keys into the form of array and we are deleting the keys dynamically, right? It, it can be uh, like here, it, there are two keys. It can be an array of 20 keys, right? So we are deleting the keys dynamically and to delete uh, and to pass a value, anything uh, as dynamic, we can use this uh, square bracket. And inside the square bracket, I want to get the key, this IMDB. So it resides inside this array. So I'll write array. And index of this IMDB would be this i in the first iteration, right? And in the second iteration, this uh, index would become of length property and so on, correct? And let me console log the movie object now after running the for loop. Hopefully it should delete the IMDB and the length property. Let me save it. Guys, in the object, you can see IMDB and length property does not exist. And they are deleted. The third way I want to show you is using this function again. But instead of using the for loop, we will be using a more modern method, which is a for of loop. Okay. How it works is it takes, it iterates over the even array. So I can write a const key of the array. So it will iterate over each key of this array okay and then inside this we can check whether this key exists in this a movie object or not so for that i can write key in object if it exists right so if this part is true then the part which we are going to write uh, after this and operator will execute right here i want to delete the key from the object so i'll copy this syntax here and instead of writing this array i this time, we have the key, right? So we can pass the key here. Let me clear the console. And uh, we have already commented it and let's save it. Now in this object also, you can see the IMDB and length property have been deleted. Guys, the fourth way I want to show you is a bit different. There are times when you do not want to uh, mutate the original object, but you want to use only the required uh, keys from the object, right? So these three methods which we have so just now, all of them mutate the original object, right? The IMDB and length property have been deleted from the original object. 
But if you do not want to do that, so for that we can use a fourth way, which is destructuring. The way we write destructuring is uh, here we need to pass the object. And inside these curly brackets, we can unpack any E we want. So I want to unpack the IMDB and length property. And now, guys, the cool feature of destructuring is whatever properties are left after the unpacking, we can put them into a single variable. Okay, with this triple dots. Now, guys, this you can write anything, maybe ABC, but I'll go with rest. Okay. And this means this uh, rest variable will not have IMDB and length property, but every property of this object except length and IMDB. Okay. If I console log this method, uh, I mean this variable, rest variable here. Okay. And let me clear the console and save it. As now you can see in this object, the, uh, the IMDB and length properties are not there. But the good thing is your movie object has not been mutated. It's still there. So I can write, uh, let me just show you. I can write console log movie. Okay. And clear the console and save it. The first console is from the rest uh, variable. It does not have the length and IMDB E. But the second object is your actual movie object, which still has the length and the IMDB property. So guys, these were the four different ways to solve this problem. If you know any other way to solve this problem, please comment below.